some of you, I think, will find this experiment a little interesting. I personally had fun uh, experimenting with this one, and I'd like to post it uh, to show you guys and for my personal records. Basically, what we have here is uh, this is a replica or somewhat of a patent from Stan Myers. This is the figure 8XA voltage intensifier circuit complete with the 9XB card and everything. Um, in a previous video, um, I explained a little more in detail how it functions and how it's connected. But in this one, what I like to do is I, I like to try something. Some people say, hey, you know, you can't really charge water. Water can't really hold the charge. There's contaminants within the water. And therefore, uh, you can't hold any charge for X amount of time. And it's true that there are contaminants within the water. No doubts. The water that I'm using is tap water. Um, I'm not, I'm, I, like, I should use uh, distilled water. Uh, but I have not added any uh, electrolytes in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to charge this water up. We're going to disconnect the main power. And we're going to see it run an LED light for a good amount of time. And then we're going to see if we can run a small motor. So here we go. I'm going to turn the main power on. I'm going to turn the 9XB card. And basically, this is the LED that's connected to the water fuel cell. These are the outputs. It's my voltage. And there's the amperage. Now, let me show you. There's water fuel cell number one. And there's water fuel cell number two. I should. Lighting is pretty bad. There we go. So the way I have this connected, this is a series hybrid uh, connection. I'm sorry, a series parallel connection. Basically what I have is, uh, I have parallel cells in here and they're connected to this other cell in a series connection. So basically I have my B minus potential coming into this cell. Then I have an output that goes and connects to this bank and that's how I get my series connection because this is my B plus right here this one goes back as you can see to the coil so let's see what happens I'm gonna turn the power off as I do that I should be back fed from these here into the LED and that LED should stay on so let's um, let's try it out and see what happens let me give you one more shot of this here. Okay, so here we go. Turn off 9XB, main power. We see a voltage drop. Voltage is being, or amperage is being consumed definitely. Capacitor is slowing down. Still have a little bit of output there. This tends to go on for a little bit. Now my LED reader just pretty much died. I still have current here. And bubbles seem to pretty much come to a halt. So let's see what happens. I'm going to disconnect this here now. So once again, this is, so you can see, this is from my cell. So I'm going to go to motor, little DC motor I have here. And let's see if, uh, there it is. So the water has been charged and now it's discharging not only into an LED but into a small little motor. So definitely Stan Myers was right when uh, he talked about his water fuel cell capacitor. I believe the technology works. There's still a lot of more uh, investigations that we need to put into this. So if you guys got any questions, any comments, please uh, post below. Thank you.